All right, top of the morning to everybody. It is November 23rd, Monday morning. And, of course, we are all just getting over that last game, which was last night. And I'm not even going to front. I didn't. I for sure thought that we were going to pull it out on the end. But, uh, car, uh, car, do what he do, did what he did. Um, but as far as everybody else, I know that... I get on Facebook this morning. I don't even usually get on Facebook, but you know, you have so many um, notifications. They tell you to check it. I get on, and it's like, come on now. Come on now. The Chiefs is still walking around with only one fucking loss. The loss that we gave them. I'm not mad at this loss, although I didn't think that it would have came, because I thought that in every way we was actually shutting down, you know, and correcting a lot of mistakes that we had during the game. But it's it's mind-boggling to watch some of these other teams come out the woodwork. I don't even know. You you your team lost. You jump ship and come right to us. I know that we you know disliked it every way because of our swag and how we come across and settle for nothing, nigga, especially with these hands. <laughs> and on top of that, uh, I get up and I see these AFC West shit. And I see this old crip keeping looking Renee looking as ugly bitch it just gets on my nerves how much mouth you have you just save some of that mouth for something else because nine times out of ten your team is bottom it's the bottom bitch and on top of that it's way less like that shit is crazy it's like stick to your lane stay to what you know and it's like you whipping you bringing so much so much mouth i mean god damn put your mouth on something else don't have your mouth on the Raiders because you ain't a fan. You ain't part of shit. Why don't you go eat shit? Okay, it's Monday morning. Let me calm down. You know, I wasn't mad at the loss. Because just as well as we're walking around with one loss from the Chief, the Chief is doing the same. And it's only one team up on this bitch that is undefeated. And that's the Steelers. So y'all stop acting like y'all team possessed what it takes to get wherever it takes. And y'all ain't even beat half of the teams that we have. And then on top of that, your stacks are lower than ours. And stop bringing up old shit, nigga. Because the new shit is what's showing you what's going down. I, uh, I'm going to go back to my own self. Fuck the rest. Y'all ain't worth it. Y'all Half of the time, y'all ain't even worth the conversation. But me waking up and I'm just watching somebody go in on the Raiders and your team is worse and always been worse throughout their whole fucking career. And then turn around and because we're looking good and on our way to somewhere... Bitch, you got your panties in a bunch. And on top of your panties being in a bunch, you got a fucking shit stain. Because guess what? Your team is at the fucking bottom, okay? You getting squeezed out like a fucking turd. So, just go on about your fucking business, okay? Stay, just stay in your lane. You should be humble at this point. Humble. Don't fucking make no goddamn sense. Everybody coming out the wood worth with they bullshit, they mouth. Nigga, you put your asshole on your mouth and you just start let it run. Like, come on now. No, put that shit back in your pants, your panties or whatever, and walk the fuck off. Because that's what needs to happen. Half of you motherfuckers ain't even in our league. Y'all ain't on our level. And y'all ain't even packing the same caliber. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, Raider Nation, stand up.